Hello and welcome. My name is Kay Bennett. I'm one of the computer and IT teachers here at King John. And during this presentation, I will be looking at the extended national certificates in computing and explaining to you how wonderful this course is and the units that are covered over the two year period. Before I introduce you to the actual course itself, let me introduce you to the Key Stage 5 teaching team. So at the very top of this slide, we've got Mrs. Neil, who not only is head of department teaching Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4, Key Stage 5 computing and IT. You'll also see her around the sixth form a lot as she has responsibility as sixth form progress leader too. Second on the list is myself, as I say, Mrs. Bennett, um, teacher of computing and IT all year groups uh, in Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and in Key Stage 5. And lastly on the list we've got Mr Stevenson who again um, is a teacher of computing and IT at Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. Now we work very very closely together um, and throughout your course um, be, be aware that we would be here to support you, um, you're able to come and see us at lunch times and break times and after schools you also have um, access to EduLink and emails, which we will respond to. So please be aware that you know, we do look after you and we do um, support you throughout the course. Let's look at the course itself. So as you're aware, this is the National Extended Certificate in Computing. It's the equivalent of one A-level studied over a two-year period. Now, in those two years, you will cover four units um, and two units each year. There are two um, units that are assessed internally and there are two units that are assessed externally and you will have one of each in each year. So as mentioned you will study two units in each year. In year 12 you will study unit 2 and unit 7. Unit 2 being the externally assessed um, unit and unit 7 being the internal assessed which means coursework unit. And the following slides talk about each unit in greater detail. We start year 12 with unit two, the fundamentals of the computer system, which is the externally assessed um, unit in year 12. And the exam for that is in the January of that year. Now this unit covers a, a range of topics and um, looks at how computers work, how different computers work, how they're used within the industry um, and looking at the different types of platforms that are involved. Now, this is a really fantastic uh, unit for anyone who's thinking of going into computer in industry, whether that's um, network security or whether that's computer games development. Um, so a really fantastic unit to start off with. It's um, a development on the GCSE, however, please be aware that you don't have to have studied the GCSE in computing in order to take this course. The second unit covered in year 12 is a internally assessed unit, unit 7, IT system security and encryption. We find that a lot of our students really enjoy this unit. Um, we look at the different types of security threats and how to protect networks from those threats looking at encryption and cyber security. And during this unit, uh, we actually set up a network in our uh, lab in our big room UA11. So a unit that our students thoroughly enjoy. So just like year 12, in year 13, you will cover two units, one being externally assessed and the other being internally assessed. So our next slides go through units one and unit 15. So the first unit to be studied in year 13 is unit one, principles of computer science. Now this is an externally assessed unit um, and the exam would take place in the January of year 13. Now for most students, unit one is what they think of when they think of computer science. So we start looking at different types of programming. We introduce pseudocode, reading and writing pseudocode as well. Also look at flowcharts. We also look at validations. Now you don't have to have studied GCSE in order to study this course, as I've mentioned before, um, as this is introduced from the very basics to start. Fourth and final unit is Unit 15, Website Development. Now this is an internally assessed unit, which means it's assessed by the teachers. 
um, and looks at website development. So the first task is looking at two websites, comparing their purposes and the way that they are designed. And moving on, you would actually create your own website, developing skills in HTML and CSS and in Java. Now, I, of course, gave you a very brief description of each unit, but you may want to find out more about each unit. And you can do this by clicking on the Pearson's website and visiting the specification. You'll be able to see the breakdown of all four units that I have described. Hey, students, the next step um, they may not be aware of at this stage. If university is something that you may be thinking of, it may be an idea to start looking at what courses are available. Now, for computer science or computing, there are a range. Um, and as you see on this slide, I've typed in computer science, but it could be that you're thinking of going down the computer gaming development, or it could be that you're looking at cybersecurity. So might I suggest that you have a look at this website, it's called the UniGuide, and start typing in different courses to see what universities are offering and what their requirements are. For some students, university isn't the next step they wish to take. Here at King John, we have a fantastic system in place to support those students applying for apprenticeships. And we've had some real success stories. Just like on the university page, here is a website where you can find out more information about apprenticeships. Now, as mentioned before, I've typed in computer science in here, but it may be that you type in um, network security or cyber security to see which apprenticeships are out there. You may not know what the next step is for you, but it's worth seeing what's out there and available. Quite often on open evening, we are asked what other subjects um, go alongside studying computing. The majority of our students that have picked computing tend to pick something like maths, matic, or physics. Um, but we do have students that study computing alongside finance and accountancy and business and information technology. So please have that discussion when you're picking those options and having a look at what subjects work well together. So just some final thoughts. If you're interested in computing, this is the course for you. And please do not worry if you've not studied it at GCSE. Um, all the units start from scratch and the teachers are there to support you all along the way. It's a fantastic course, whatever your next step may be, whether that's off to university or an apprenticeship. I hope you found all the information that you need and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.